I've been like, no. <laughs> We're live. We're live. On time. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's up, Omis? How are you guys doing? Here we are for another episode of Vaping with the Omis. We have uh, our special guest, Builder Guard Travis. How are you doing? Welcome, man. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's good. It's good that you guys invited me here tonight. Thanks a lot, man. Absolutely. I don't really have any other options, so. I know, right? I'm like, Jeez. oh, I guess Wait, Travis isn't doing anything. Oh, <laughs> no, he's not busy or anything trying to save vape. No. Jesus. <laughs> Just messing oh, with awesome stuff. All right, uh, so we'd like to uh, mention our new sponsor, Clouds of Mass Destruction. We yeah, yeah. have a uh, code for all our Omis. It's uh, Omis20. Gets you a 20% off on his site for his e-liquid. So go check them out. Really good stuff. Seriously, guys. Uh, the, what is it? I always forget what this thing's called. Crimson Spear. Really good stuff. Yeah. He's also got that Plague Swarm and Toxic Shock as well. Yeah, yeah. check uh, check out the juices. They are good. Um, mm -hmm. He uses Premium Nick, which is um, very premium. So hashtag Omi's got premium. Um, so just to clarify, it's cloudsofmassdestruction.com. Omi's... 20 gets you 20% of his e-juice line, which are those three juices, which are delicious, which is worth giving a try. I think that makes it like $15 a bottle or something like that. $16 a bottle. That's a good deal, guys. For a and it's free shipping. Yes. So. It's, it's just one word, right? Only 20, so. yeah. All together, one word. Awesome. So, so thank you. Thank you, Johnny Cloud. Off to James. All right. What's going on, Omis? Back at you for another week, and time for that buffet. I am rocking my Warlock's hammer with that custom engraving on there. I always do it backwards every single time. You'll get it. Right now. I believe in you. But yeah, I've got that. You know, I had to rock the Warrior today since we have the one and only Builder Guard, Travis, part of JMT Elite, people responsible for this bad boy right here. And inside of that, I've got some of that, you guys know, that oh. coil turd. Peach tea lemonade. It's a staple in my lineup. It's I'm probably gonna keep vaping it until I run out. And uh, next setup I've got, I've got the Ronin X2 with the Model 41 on top. Color changing DHD nub tip on there goes black to white. Absolutely loving that. With some uh, Matthew Crothers coils. Big shout out to you, dude, for sending those my way. Absolutely banging in this setup. With some of that legit apple cream custard. Absolutely loving this stuff. Shout out to Swaggins for telling me to try this because, dude, you're right. This stuff is fantastic. If you guys haven't tried it yet, check it out. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, one of my favorite setups at the moment, my aluminum green Dreamer stack. Gold Team 24 Pro with the green airflow on there. Green DHD chop top tip on top. Gold button, you know. Got to get that golden green action going. Loving this setup Ranger. right here. Oh, Beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Hashtag Green Ranger. Um, with some of that uh, Turkish blend. Loving this stuff. Uh, it's almost gone, actually. Going to have to get some more. Absolutely loving that Turkish blend. I, I think you like uh, uh, green stuff. <laughs> that's just a, that might be true. That's just enough. But, uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to the one, the only, Vapor Swaggins. Oh, hello. Thank you. I am one, and I am only. But with our powers combined, we are many. That being said, we'll save that for after the buffet. I was gonna—I was literally just about to transition into advocacy. So let's just <laughs> step back for a second uh, and talk about what I'm vaping. So Pumping tonight I am brakes. vaping on... Yeah, pumping the brakes, pumping those hydraulic brakes. Uh, I'm vaping on the USV. Uh, this guy, basically a BMI, um, but not for the price tag. Uh, on top of that is a Goon 22. Inside of that is Turkish Maze, because I love this stuff. Um, vaping on the Aluminum Purple Dreamer, uh, Aluminum Purple Reload, Black Button, uh, Solid silver internals. It's fantastic vape. Inside of that, I'm just chucking through this legit apple cream custard. Yeah, and it's delicious. I love that stuff. And uh, 
Last, I'm vaping on the Warlock's Guardian DNA 250C with a warrior on top because obviously. There you uh, go. And inside of that, Turkish Harvest because it's delicious. Uh, those flavor profiles are Turkish Maize, which is a Turkish Maize uh, apple cream custard, which is an apple cream custard, and Turkish Harvest, which is an apple butterscotch. And that's me. I'm passing it on off to um, my dude, Kuwaiti Vapor Dot Aziz. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Yeah. Hi. Um, first of all, I'm vaping on my Guardian with what's it called? Yeah. This is the Churchill RTA. I have inside of it that um, caramel waffle cappuccino. We are on top of it tonight. LA. Yeah, uh, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. <laughs> from the LA sauce, I'm vaping on another Guardian. With yeah. The high on, wow. Uh, uh, high on Q Q Q-T? something. Q-T-T. I don't know how to pronounce yeah. it. The Q T. Yeah. yeah uh, and it has my all day vape. The so surf satisfying. Uh, Last but not least, the Miley with the Kermit. And I'm passing it to Mr. Dan the Man. What's going on, everyone? For me tonight, I got Red Dreamer, Black Button, Drop Dead. That's just where that atomizer stays now. Uh. And that, I have that Clouds of Mass Destruction Plague Swarm. It's like an orange soda, orange cream soda. It's really good. Liking that. I got some Sammy Nitro coils in there. Shout out to Sammy Nitro for some awesome, awesome coils. Mm-hmm. I got my Luxotic with that profile on top. Shout out to Joel for making a banging, banging atomizer. That is where that's been staying. It's not going anywhere. And finishing up my Baker Bros strawberry zapper. Almost gone. And last but not least, I have my Twisted Purge. With that Warrior RDA on top. And in that, I also have Sammy Nitro Coils. And in that, another Clouds of Mass Destruction Juice, Toxic Shock. Key Lime something or other. Nice. It is very... Key Lime Pie. <laughs> His juices are throaty, and I actually like throaty, so they're very good. That's what I got, and I will pass it over to our special guest, Travis. Ooh. All right. Thank you very much, and... The first thing I am vaping on is my Kennedy. Oh my God, I drew a blank. Sorry, the (laughs) (laughs) Vindicator, holy cow. My Kennedy Vindicator with the 25 RDA on top. And in that I am rocking Transpose Green Line. This is a creamy coconut honeydew bubble tea with grandma's sweet banana pudding on the tail end. This stuff is fire. Mm. Great. And my next setup is the one and only the Gathering Vapors Warlock's Hammer. Yeah, Yeah, buddy. Right there. And of course, I have the Gunmetal Warrior on top with some, this guy's name is Builder Guard's coils in here. I don't know who he is. Builder Guard? I heard he can can, can throw them together. He should be the best of them. I mean, it's it's pretty fiery, and in that, <laughs> I'm rocking um, out of this world line from Paradigm Vapors Mars Strawberry mm. Custard. Ooh, this stuff, man! This is one of the best strawberry custards I've had. It kind of goes back to when some of the other strawberry custards, when I first started vaping, it had that really good flavor, and then they all went basically the same thing. But it's back, and it's awesome. And uh, my next one is the Red Dreamer, the Aluminum Dreamer, with another oh, warrior on top. All right. But. Oh, ooh. that looks different. Yeah. That's so yeah, this, this is my Trinity glass comp cap. This thing is awesome. So 
just fires right up and the airflow on this is just as good if not better than the original warrior top cap nice. it's phenomenal awesome. and in that i am vaping transpose green line again so <laughs> sorry about that like that's that all right <laughs> Vape what my, you like man it's awesome and my last one is my little exotic with mr just right ones profile sitting on top all right yeah. And this is my first mesh RDA. I love this thing. Dude, I honestly can't put mine down either, man. It's steady in my rotation. I mean, listen to this. Seriously. Yeah, it's dude. Like, I love it because it, it crackles, but then when you hit it, you don't it doesn't it doesn't crackle. Like it's the smoothest vape I've ever had. Yeah. For a builder for how deck, right? oh, yeah. yeah. For a builder, the deck sucks. <laughs> Absolutely. So when, when are you going to start like pumping out those, those mesh coils? I know, right? <laughs> no, but uh, after I, after I use, this, uh, use this one piece of mesh up, I'm going to see what I can do on this deck. And, um, Absolutely. And dude. That's, the, and that's what, what, that's what people don't realize is that it's actually there's a lot of space in there to build a, a, like a solid single coil. I have to give it to Joel. I mean, this thing, I mean, look at that. For real. It's, it's just an awesome deck. It really is. There's it's a lot like of space. every every square millimeter is purposeful. Like there's no yeah. there's no like there's no part of it that is wasted space. No, not at all. He, I mean, that's why this RDA is number one right now. It's just blowing up. It is absolutely. It really. Well, is. we can gush about that all day, but we'll talk about the warrior in a little bit. Yes, and the last one, the last thing I'm vaping on in in the profile is a transposed blue line. And this is a blue raspberry rock candy with bubbly mm. Baja Blast. Oh, Ooh. wow. I need it. I need it. <laughs> Dude, yeah, Baja yeah, Blast. Where to get a hold of that. This stuff is fire. I'm telling you, Transpose, holy cow. This stuff is awesome. And um, I know the guys, the really, really great guys, and they're a local uh, juice company here in Austin. So got to support the local. Awesome, man. Sure. So that's what I'm vaping on. So who hasn't gone? I think everybody's gone. We um, got a uh, oh, no, Corey. Oh. Oh. All right. Corey, Mr. Poon Sauce McNasty, you're up. <laughs> What's up, guys? There's a lot of us. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, okay, first thing I'm vaping on, I just scrounge around to get a bunch of setups together that actually I can vape right now. Well, first of all, I got my Skelly 213. It's my drop on that. In there, I got some the rest of my slamming cereal bar, which is it's pretty good. I'm just trying to get rid of it. What's it taste like? A cereal slamming bar. cereal bar. Yeah, cereal bar. Slamming. Yeah. yeah, it's not. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Okay. Next, I got my my purge truck stack. Damn. With oh, my TM20, my TM24 with the Eclipse cap. And there, I got my all day, all day every day, LSD by Transistor. Mm. Fucking amazing stuff. And next, I got my new new setup, which I'm fucking loving. My new broadside Brizo with my in brass in the white brass with the matching Culverin on top, with some DB Squonks coils in there, dude. These things are legit. And in there, I got another all day for me. Some Tango Melon OG, yeah. OG labels, Ooh. steeped, very steeped, amazing. Mm. And that's and my soul got eaten by my friend's car while I was at the expo, so I don't know where the hell that thing went. <laughs> Wait, so, your yeah, soul like S O U L like my little pod system. Oh, oh. 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 Yeah, like oh. maybe next time. My soul was clarify. eaten by my friend's car. That's the first uh, time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, whatever. And so, yeah, that's all I got, I got tonight. Um, let's finish off with our, our ringleader, Mr. Clown. I don't want to say exactly ringleader, but cool. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, I'm going to start it off with the, uh, this little guy. That uh, little guy? Yeah, the Purge Enforcer. With nice. the warrior on top. Rocking that guy. He's going to start it off and with that, like, uh, the Purge Enforcer. <laughs> yeah. Then next, I got the uh, Turkish maze. Yeah, buddy. 
Really good juice. Uh, yeah, I'm almost done. It's for real, man. <laughs> sriracha tips. I don't know if it's the sriracha tips or if it's because the juice is so good. But like, I'm like, why is this? Why is this gone already? Yeah, it's almost it's so gone. And I'm sad. And I got the uh, look. I got it on the right side. Royal Hammer. Nice. And that I got uh from my own line, Blue Sin. Yeah, buddy. And lastly, I got the uh, El Thunder Cosmonaut. Nice. Uh, right there. My favorite really set of combo the right there. I'm still on the whole Cosmonaut hype is real. And then that I got Marcellus. And that hype is definitely real because that Marcellus is fantastic. I didn't oh, yeah. steer you wrong. That Mr. Just Right, you better like that. You better like the Cosmonaut because I didn't steer you wrong. Right. All righty. Uh, so you guys want to do some shout outs before we jump into some advocacy or – Sure, Absolutely. let's do a couple shout outs here. First and foremost, the first name I saw looking down at the chat was my man, Sammy Nitro5150. Go check him out on Instagram. Banging coils. Absolutely fantastic dude all the way up there in Canada. We got my man, Bad Mother Trucker. Big shout outs to him and the new little one. Absolutely happy for all of you over there at the Trucker house. Congratulations uh, remember- on number 12. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> big shout outs, of course, <laughs> again to Clouds of Mass Destruction for you know sponsoring the Omis here. We absolutely appreciate it and love you for that, my dude. Uh, Miranda Jones, big shout out to you as well. DB Squonks, again, we'll shout you out, you know, talking about your coils here. We got Herb Williams, also a fellow Canadian. What's going on, brother? We got the Truck and Vapor. We got King Tot, big shout outs to King Tot. Haven't seen you in a while, my dude. Miss you. We got Shane Oakley, my dude, Matthew Carruthers. Absolutely got to shout out him. Go check him out as well. Does awesome patinas. I tell you guys all the time. But just go check him out, guys. He does cool stuff. We've got uh, Vaping Joe M, the first guy to chat, uh, chime in in the chat. And, of course, we got Advocate, Educate, Decimate, North Cal Sick Boy, <laughs> my man, my dude, Chuck Allen. Shout out to you, my dude. Thank you for joining us. And last but not least, we got a shout out Frank freaking Wolf, our lovely moderator, throwing up the chats in there or the the links in there in the chat for you guys to click on and, and Danny you know, Castle. take you on your way. Yep, and of Danny course, Castle. Danny Castle just popping in right there. Shout outs to Danny Castle, of course. Much love for that dude. And yeah, guys, so that's some shout outs. We can always do a couple more here towards the end if you'd like. All right. All right, let's jump into some advocacy stuff. So, what do you guys got for me? You guys well, ready? Oh, yeah, I mean, sure. I think that yeah. we should we can start off with the most pressing. I mean, there's there's all there's the stories of what's going on state by state, but mm-hmm. nationally we're we're still talking about S thirty three nineteen, um, you know, aka the Safe Kids Act, um, uh, and we've been we've been uh, working behind the scenes to uh to fight that to find a way to create a unified front against that to create a unified message and to find the right avenues to tell the people that even if we get steamrolled that we are not going to go silently silently into that um into that dark night um we have travis uh builder guard travis here he is the brainchild of you know what what is going on behind the scenes uh i quit smoking by vaping.com so i want to kind of pass it off to you sir and then we'll chime in as we go. Yeah, it sounds good. Thanks, Swags. Well, um, I'm not the brainchild. I want to give it up to the uh, Stooge crew because this started on Discourse. And the whole idea started from basically a hashtag, I quit smoking by vaping. And uh, Connie, not so scrawny Connie, took that over and just kind of blew it up. Behind the scenes when we were talking, she had um, yeah, she had Worldwide Vapes or... Um, World Vape Crew, Mm -hmm. um, post a bunch of pictures with that hashtag on it. And within an hour, I swear we had something like 25 to 30 pictures posted. Swags, you remember that? Absolutely. Yeah. Connie is is like a force, uh, like honestly a force to be reckoned with for sure. She's the sweetest woman, which is so crazy. Yeah, she's amazing. And yeah. um, I, I have to give it up to uh, the vaping politician, Eric. Yeah. Um, he was he was right there with me. And uh, we were talking and I was pissed off and he was kind of calming me down. But we all came together as a group in the voice chat and came up with this idea. 
And the idea was to attack um, Bill S.3319, which was the federal flavor ban. Um, and that's how it started. And it started as a grassroots campaign by a bunch of really passionate people. And on this, on this show right now, we have Swaggins who's involved. We have James Franklin who's involved. You know, I'm obviously involved. Um, Clouds of Mass Destruction, he's involved with this. Uh, NorCal Sick Boy, he's out there. He's involved with this. And we have a lot of people working behind the scenes to uh, make this thing happen. We have a new website coming up soon. Um, that's in development. That's going to be replacing the old one. It's still, but still, like if they look, if right, they look up guys. HTTPS uh, colon forward slash forward slash um, I quit smoking by vaping dot com. Um, that site, if you bookmark that, basically the way it looks right now is a placeholder. We kind of created something because we wanted to have a place to start. And then we were able to get some more people involved that were web developers and whatnot that were more professional because all of us, let's, let's, let's be honest, like all of us are vapors and we're part of this community, but we all have day jobs. We all have careers. We all have focuses. So what's great about that is that, you know, I say, you know, uh, Travis is really humble and he'll say it's not his, you know, he's, it wasn't his brainchild, but his, his, um, fervor, his, uh, tenacity is, you know, and his passion is what brought this to the table in the discord. We were talking about it and it started off as like a video idea. And then we kind of spread it out and it be, it just kind of grew and we're bringing in people with multiple talents. That's what, that's what we have that the FDA doesn't have. That's what we have that our enemy doesn't have. We have so many people, a diverse, spectrum um of of many different talented people that are passionate about one thing that brings us together and that's why we've been able to do this you know free of charge basically no money coming in on top of working our full-time jobs and and hanging out with our friends and loving vaping and whatnot we've been working on this and we have a web developer now which is awesome so basically he's working on some stuff for us and we're working with him and we're gonna um we're gonna revamp this site and basically it'll be the same domain name um, and we want this to be a central location for you to be able to get your uh, information and for us to be able to cr create a, a unified message. Because we have all these different organizations that are great. We have Kasau, we have Not Blowing Smoke. You know, we have these great organizations that have calls to action, and that's awesome. But as you can see by any social media um, network, you know, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, they adapt and they create an all-inclusive environment where you can go one-stop shop and you can find all your stuff. We want to be able to create that. We want to be able to fight this with a unified voice. We want to be able to know what the right information is because even on the vaping spectrum, even on the vaping side of things, there's misinformation. So we want to make sure that you get the right information. You stay educated, you stay vigilant, and you make sure that your voice is heard because your voice is necessary in this fight to save vaping. Yeah, everybody's voice is. And I say that from the person who just started vaping to the person who's been vaping ever since it started. And it's important that uh, smokers get the same uh, get the same exposure as what we had when we started. And if this if this goes through, there's going to be a lot of people out there who smoke right now that will not have this opportunity to and to actually make their lives better by reducing harm. And that's what we're after: reducing harm. That's the most important thing. Um, yeah, we, we got to allow smokers to have that chance. What was that? We gotta allow smokers to have that chance to, you know, have the choice of vaping instead of it just being taken away. And, you know, fighting alongside with you guys and any advocacy group we have around is the only way that that's possible. Right. You know? Absolutely. So I, I do wanna say this, uh, about a week ago, I put out a, um, a posting on Instagram and it kind of took off for uh, people who are into advocacy to use non-vaping hashtags. And it's very important to get us outside of the box. One of our goals in I Quit Smoking by Vaping is to get this word out of the box to people who are not in the community. Because if we just keep it in the community, all we're going to do is listen to ourselves preach. Absolutely. And the people outside of the church can't hear us. Yeah. So yeah. there's, a, there's the, so basically what you're saying is, I mean, I'm trying to be a good interviewer here mm -hmm. because I'm a part of this. So it's like, I already know the answers to my questions, but basically what you're saying is that there's a dual, there's a dual purpose to this. Not only do we want to educate those who are hobbyists, those who are within the community of vaping 
and let them know what the right information is and what, you know, call, what basically the campaigns we're pushing are and, you know, what the up and up is, how we're fighting this and who, like what, who to, who to basically contact and what message to send to those people and whatever, you know, that's one strand of it. But the other strand is basically we're trying to go outside of that. And we're trying to preach to people outside of the vape community about the beneficial nature of vaping as a, as a, um, smoking cessation device, uh, as a, as a substitute for smoking cigarettes, that there's a stigma around this whole culture of being addicted to anything, you know, and needing right. something. But, you know, basically there, I mean, we could talk about this all day, uh, but like caffeine and all these other things that we're addicted to that we use as a culture, um, you know, food in general, you know, sweets, chocolate, people have addictions to everything. There are vices. Okay. We're trying to find a safer vice. You know, something safer than drinking, something safer than smoking cigarettes, combustible tobacco. So basically, we're trying to use uh, what 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 Travis was saying is like popular. If you use like an app, like say you have an Android phone, you download the uh, social hashtags app. If you look up just most popular hashtags, you find those hashtags and you attach some of those, the relevant ones, you know, or whatever to your post. Now that poses a question because we've had an issue with Instagrammers, you know, who are vapors, they're trickers or they're trying to promote their product and they're using the, you know, I quit smoking by vaping or hashtag adults like flavors. If they're using those hashtags and they're not promoting, you know, advocacy in any way and whatever their description is or whatever is going on in the picture or the video, is that okay or is that not okay? That's not okay. So, so what we want to do for non-vaping hashtags is we really want to target the people out there who are not smokers, who are smokers, and who are those who are considering. And we want to basically try to persuade them to see that, you know, vaping is a healthier alternative than smoking. And um, we have our own hashtags in our community for that. You know, we don't need hand checks. We don't need juice, juice postings. We don't need vape models, you know, showing up on CNN because it just makes the community look very bad when that happens. It makes us look childish. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so what I am trying to push with this is when you put out a post using non-vaping hashtags, that post needs to be directed in a general form that people outside of vaping can understand and recognize. So data is great, you know? Um, some of the postings by Rubber Ducky, she puts out some really great, um, really great uh, spreadsheets and uh, data charts that show exactly, you know, that our kids in middle school and high school, they're not, their vaping isn't rising. It's actually dropping. Exactly. <clears throat> and actually, that's, have, that's what we have to show. I want to interject real quick. I listened to the Culture of Cloud podcast today, and Grim and Ruby were talking about that. And in middle school, from their findings, it was at like 0.5% mm -hmm. of middle schoolers, and they had a gap where like the statistics, statisticians? Statisticians, yeah. Statisticians could be off either plus one or minus one. So it could be no middle schoolers, if anything. Are, are vaping or smoking. Yeah, and, yeah. and the so, question is, is how many schools is it a study? You know, it's like, they don't, like, they're just like, this is the info. Yeah, absolutely. There's no epidemic, Gottlieb, if you ever watch this. No <laughs> yeah. The problem is, is that in our country right now, we're very polarized Bats. in every aspect of, of politics. It's smear campaigns, right? And it's whatever party wants to do it, you know, Democrats. Um, you know, they're they're basically pushing this narrative of this is the way it needs to be. If you're not a part of the group think, is, is you can be an individual and you can think within, you can think individually as long as you, you know, think individually within the confines of the overall narrative. And basically what they're pushing is this idea that, you know, for whatever reason, this is not okay because this is a this is a this is a cultural thing that we don't like because money is being taken out of our pockets. And we're going to continue to fight it. We know that that we we know we're up against a wall here. But are you going to be up against a wall and just take it? Or are you going to be up against a wall? And are you are you going to run towards that firing line with all of your fervor and all of your spirit that you can because you care about what you're dying for? And that's what we're doing here. I know that's really doom and gloom, but basically that's where we're at for the analogy's purposes. You know, we are giving you the fuel that you need 
to fight this fight with us. Uh, and every one of us matters. Every one of us has a unique skill and talent. That's why that's, that's honestly one of the best underlying things that we haven't really noticed because we've been focused on trying to push the I quit smoking by vaping um, kind of uh, uh, campaign is that there's so many unique qualities and skills that each of us have from our walks of life, from our professional careers that we can bring to the table that make us stronger when we're unified. So we're trying to create a unified message. We're trying to tell them we're not going to roll over. And you know what? It may take a lot of push, but we're no matter how much they push us, no, no matter how many times they knock us down, we're going to get up and we're going to continue to fight this fight. It's and very also, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, please, sir, continue. I'm sorry. No, 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 Aziz, go ahead. Yeah, uh, and I'm looking at it as an outsider, mm -hmm. and that flavor ban doesn't affect the U.S., just the U.S. Oh, God, no. Uh, yeah, uh, all of my products are, are coming from the U.S. So, yeah. <laughs> and I know we have a lot of uh, viewers uh, from outside of the U.S. At least the least thing you can do is promote. Uh, I'm sorry, just advocate through your social media. Absolutely. Uh, if you can participate in uh, the calls of uh, calls to action, that kind of stuff, at least is put the word out. Absolutely. Uh, maybe you'll get one of those audiences that doesn't know the what's happening. Because I know a bunch of guys that don't watch the the news. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. I'm I'm one of them. I I don't like watching the news because every time I go watch something, it'll, it'll depress me basically. Absolutely. That's it, all it, the news it, is good for is to drive fear in the people. Because yeah. when it when it comes to media, it's bad news is good news. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. the way they look at it. That's why every time you turn on the news, you're hearing about you know the bad thing that's happening here, the bad thing that's happening there. You don't hear about like you know the stories of. You know, like a young kid, like pulling his parents out of a firing house or, you know, like s some like heroic things or something like that. They want to keep you in fear. It's fear mongering. And it's exactly what they're doing here with us in this Good vape point. industry is they're they're trying to scare the people away that haven't found it and haven't found the right information, haven't found the truthful information. They're trying to scare them away from finding it at all. And I think honestly that it's just horrible that they want to do that. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the government and it comes to the FDA and it comes to big pharma and all this, it all comes down to the money. And if they're, if they're not using their cigarettes or they're not buying their Nicorette or their patch or their pharmaceutical or whatever it may be, they're losing that money. So they want to do whatever they can or in their power to make it to where it's harder for anybody to find this vaping product or, the, you know, these other uh, outlets that, that are popping up. Just, just because a, at the end of the day, it hurts their wallet and it hurts just their This is a really button. quick uh, kind of bridge to what uh, Frames Janklin Vapor is talking about. You know, uh, we're the underdog. We How are. How many movies have you watched where like you root for the underdog? How many Super Bowls have you watched where you root for the underdog? We're an underdog story. I mean, the, the you know, the devising of this nation, you know, the Revolutionary War was an underdog story. Okay. We came from nothing. We came from being nobody, col like col uh, colonists and fighting the biggest, most powerful empire in the world. We know this is not new to us. And this is what scares the, the FDA, scares these, you know, big pharma. What scares them is the fact that, you know, they haven't been able to stop us out yet. You know, and there's a reason for that. That's the, that's the hope. We've been talking about the doom and gloom. The hope in the, is, is in the fact that we are the underdog. And there's something scary about being the underdog because we have nothing to lose except for everything. You know, we have everything right. to lose here. They have like a small monetary value to lose out of their pockets. We have everything. We have something that we all love and, and hold dear, something that we know has saved our lives, something that if it was a person, you wouldn't be able to pay that back. Okay. And it, yeah. And to add to that point, like he says, it's like we, we, back to the colonies we banded together as a community or as a call as the colonies to fight back against this force that is you know trying to oppress us so as a vape community we need to do that same thing no matter what the background is no matter where you're from or you know what aspect of vaping you're in
whether it be you're in the industry, you're a reviewer, you're a shop owner, you're a distributor, you're a vapor or whatever it may be. If you have your hand in the industry, we all need to get together and push this message and show that we're not going down without a fight and that we're here to stay whether they like it or not. But right. that's the whole point behind this movement. And that's the whole point why we, we uh, kind of got together behind the scenes to push this is because this is something we believe in wholeheartedly, all of us that are a part of it and all, all of us here on the panel as well. And I know a lot of you in the chat, we're not going down without a fight and whatever we can do in our power to push back or, you know, to get just that one step further in the right direction, we're going to do it. And we just want to just express that to you guys to hopefully, you know, maybe spark some passion in somebody out there that's, you know, maybe watching for the first time or help you guys put that information out there to help spark that passion in somebody who may not know about this or just may be finding out about it to help push this information so people can find these outlets and these researches that are showing the health benefits of it and all this stuff that's not being able to be publicized. And, you know, that's that's our ultimate goal, guys, at the end of the day. And, you know, that's why we push advocacy, especially so hard here on the OMIs, is because we are all consumers. So at the end of the day, if this happens and, you know, vaping ceases to exist, this whole show ceases to exist and the whole community that we've grown to love ceases to exist. And then, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I'll be lost without this community because it wasn't until I found this community that, you know, I found, you know, uh, just a welcoming, passionate, you know, just all around, just yep. loving family at the end of the day. And that's why we say, always say hashtag vape fam, because it's true. If you guys have found those people in the community that, you know, are just willing to help, there's especially here in the Stooge crew and a lot of people that are part of the Omies, you know, in the chat, we're such a core, like close knit group of people that are always willing to help out and just want to fight for our right to vape and just get the information out to anybody we can, whether you're a smoker, a non-smoker, somebody who's just found vaping, someone who yeah. wants to try vaping. That's, that's just the, the whole start of it. Of this whole thing. Yeah. The start of it is getting off of cigarettes to vape. And then the whole world opens up to you. If you've ever played video right. games before, you get to max level. You, know, you get to the max level. Like that, you think, oh, that's the game. The game is to get to the, the, the highest level I can get to. No, the game just started. Literally, that wasn't even it. You just yep. get to that max level, and all of a sudden, the game just started. We're trying to, like Brian Feeney was just saying, you know, let me re uh, read his comment real quick. He said, what's up, everyone? I feel it's crucial we reach smokers and non-smokers and let them know the truth. Let them know what their government is doing. Yeah, we're talking about what the government's doing. We want to have that message out there, but the real the real heart of that is uh, it's crucial that we reach smokers and non-smokers. That's the first step. You take that step. You're a dual user, whatever you're needing to use. We've talked about this on Sherlock Holmes um, uh, live stream before and even on the vape stew a couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago was the um, ICOS the you know heat no burn it's like if that gets you off or that weans you away from that's a step in the right direction towards not smoking cigarettes then we can't argue that okay you know we want to argue where it's coming from you know that's that's a whole another story but we need to like the real the real point of all this is we're trying to get smokers off of smoking and onto a healthier alternative a cessation device you know that isn't you know, but hey, if you want to take a lozenge, that's great. We're not trying to fight big pharma. Like we, that's the biggest, the biggest heart heartache of this is that we're not attacking any of these people, and we're not trying to take their money. We're trying to do something good. And when good things happen, yeah. it takes money out of the people's pockets that were that were capitalized in the market. They try to snuff us out. They don't that's care about the real the real focus. What's supposed to make them? I don't know what the, what caused yeah. them to start this yeah. industry that made them all this money in the first place. They lost out on that to corporate greed. Yeah, exactly. Uh, speaking on that money point, there's one more comment I wanted to just touch on because it actually is a very good point. Yeah, and then we'll it's go like, to Travis. Um, Kelly of uh, Vape Girl 11 says, money drives this industry too. This is a multi multi million dollar or multi billion dollar industry. How many of the larger money makers are putting up money or putting money out to fight this fight? She says she's yet to see one. That's also, you know, a good point as well. We need to also try to get these companies to also get involved in any way they can, whether, you know, it be are in China. Well, still, there's still a lot of companies here in the States that, you know, I could. They, they have involved. enough that they could influence. China exactly. has a lot of money yeah. in, the, in, the, in the market. 
but there are a lot of influential people which we've been reaching out to which i want to defer to travis mm -hmm. to discuss a little bit that we've been trying like the influencers are here the money may yes. be coming out of china but the faces that are in front of that money are here in the states so travis yeah so what we're doing behind the scenes is we've actually put together through um through some resources that we have many companies even uh, juice companies um, some hardware companies and even some teams that are pushing this behind the scene. And it's, it's extremely important because we have to get the influencers out there. Heck, I mean, the first five people of that came together to kick this off was basically myself, NorCal Sick Boy, Joel, Stan, Eric, this, now, I, I'm just talking about the very first chat that I got people together on because I recognized that we needed some names in back of us. And another person who I'm not going to mention who has very big ties throughout the whole industry. Um, and we got these people sold on it. And now they're backing us. And now it's even rolling farther. You know, the guy who's building our website, you know, he has a juice company. He has a whole website that sells hardware and juice. We have another juice company that's helping out. Transpose, they're helping out. We have other juice companies behind the scenes. So once the website's launched, you'll see who's backing us. And um, that's important. And we also need to shout out and recognize the ones that you do see on Instagram um, that are putting uh, advocacy out there and spreading the word. Because we are really good at putting the companies down on Instagram that don't post anything. What we're really bad about is shouting out the companies on Instagram and even Facebook that are advocating. And I think that needs to change because positivity absolutely. breeds positivity. Well, absolutely. So I, I kind of want to take this back a notch because what I want to do is everybody in chat, just to give you a synopsis of where we were and where we're at. So, when I Quit Smoking by Vaping started out in the chat, it was at a point when California was going through some flavor bans. Beverly Hills just fell. And NorCal Sick Boy, Stefan uh, Didek, they were fighting these behind the scenes in California. And the next place was Sacramento. If Sacramento fell, fell I knew that it was going to be a big problem in the industry. And then after that, 3319 became public. About three weeks later, the FDA announces that they're going to give Juul and four other big pod system companies 60 days, 60 days to try to stop youths from vaping. How in the holy hell does a manufacturer stop well, they had to prove, kids? They had to prove, yeah. Right. And so... That happened a few weeks ago. This last Sunday, the real cost campaign rolled out. And if any of you are following in this on Twitter, they did 29 posts. And uh, uh, oh, my land, I know you saw it because you and I, we were flaming that thing up. Yeah. And he posted all of these, all of these supposed facts, and it was targeted to the masses you know, saying that it's an epidemic, over 2 million, 2 million teenagers vape, and the numbers are rising. And if they don't stop, we're going to have a whole generation that are addicted to nicotine. <laughs> right? It, it's comedy to me, man. Did, did you watch the, we watched the video, has everyone seen the yes. out where kids are hitting pod systems and these weird little bugs are crawling in their heads? Like the, the stuff that they came up with for this was comical to me, but I'm like, damn it, people are going to think that's really what it is. Absolutely. And, and so, that, that's the sad part. I remember people, people want to have a, they want to find their, their bridge to die on and whatever's popular, whatever is the, like the, the group think in essence, it's like, all right, well let's, let's, let's fight nicotine addiction because the kids, the kids, meanwhile, like you want the government to, to be proposing all these regulations and whatnot to, parent your kids for you me but but your kids up in their room on their ipad you know like having you know half naked chats with their you know with their internet girlfriend or boyfriend right. 
You know, you, right. it's like you choose which, you know, you want to, the pot calls the kettle black, right? You, you like, you're choosing which narrative you want to hop on and like, oh, this is how I want to parent. Oh, I definitely, I don't want my kids to do this. But meanwhile, you're hosting, you know, drinking parties at your house because you think it's, oh, it's safer if they're drinking in my house, even though that's a felony. It's like, it's it's it, it boggles the mind, but unfortunately, you can't think about that. Travis, you're 120 percent right in the fact that we need to focus on the positives, and you know, positive like one positive will negate five negatives. The yeah. positive people are going to want to latch onto because it's going to be refreshing. So give them the information, but speak it positively. Be a positive influence. Like educate people in a positive manner. Talk about it in a positive way. You know, that's when it becomes a discussion, not an argument, and that's what we need. And that's um, exactly it. So what I want to do, I want to, I want to take this one step further. So, um, you know, Oh My Land had talked about the video. You guys know that that video was created by a, a award-winning director. I was getting to that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You saw Chuck's post. Yeah. And um, they have now committed sixty million dollars to the Real Cost campaign. Over ten thousand high schools are getting flyers that are going to be posted in the bathrooms and all over school about jewels and pod systems and the evils of nicotine. And you know what it's going to do? It's going to make them want to do it more. And that's exactly what is going on behind the scenes. And that's exactly what they're saying. And that video, if you watch it, you're like, damn, I want to see that movie. That thing's cool as hell. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> That's how they pursue any of these. Like that's the same thing with any of these campaigns that are out there. And I'm not, I don't want to make this political, but like you get, you get these, you get JJ Abrams and you get all these people on these campaigns, these actresses. And they're all like, Oh, me too. We're sisters. It's like, do you even know any of the facts or you just jump on, you signed on and decided that you're going to put your name to this and you're going to use your propagandizing machine. I worked in film. Okay. I, my undergrad, I studied film and, te and TV production media is meant to manipulate no matter what you choose what your point is and you're and and it becomes your agenda and you sell that okay um it's like the ones you need to worry about the most are the ones that have to do with real life campaigns real life issues um whatever those issues may be i'm not going to touch on them because this is not i don't want to detract from the main point but when you see stuff like that you should be questioning and the problem is that people are so institutionalized to uh, trusting the media and trusting these faces that they see on these big screens, you know, that they don't question. And that's when you absolutely should be questioning. Even if you agree with it, you should always question it. Okay. Critical thinking. That's the main thing. Absolutely. Well, can I add something? Uh, the problem is the biggest, uh, our biggest enemy is ignorance. That's it. Definitely. That's the, that's the bottom line. If you if you get an influ influential uh, person that spreads propaganda, that uh, I'm sorry to describe this because I don't have a lot of vocabulary. That ignorant person listens to that influential guy, and he'll mm -hmm. instantly believe him. He doesn't do the research. He doesn't do anything. But on the other hand, we have uh, scientific evidence from the U.S. and from outside the U.S. that corroborate our cause. Right. We do. And we have to go looking for those. These guys have funding and they're putting that stuff on television and on the Internet where they can actually plaster this video and stuff where we had to search and find that research and talk to other vapors. You get the normal person who's not out there looking for that stuff. They're going to fall right in line. Like I watched the video. I don't want worm things swimming around in my head. I'm not going to let my kid do that. And the, I want the government to do something about it and, and all that kind of shit. You know what I mean? It's, it's really, it's really crazy because you know, just like you said, they have the money to do this right now. They also are the government. They can make up truths. And that's the scary part. But for us, you know, as vapors, as ex-smokers, as human beings, what they're doing is they're taking away our civil liberties. And we can't allow that. I'm I'm a Marine. I'm a I'm a 
Marine vet, you know, I served in Desert Storm. I served six years, the whole nine yards. I fought for this country. NorCal sick boy, he was in the Army. He served overseas, you know. And Swags, I know you went into, into the service also. And there are many of us out there who did our part through Uncle Sam. And now we are doing our part by taking what we learned and going forth and spreading the word to protect our own civil, civil Absol liberties. Absolutely. Win or lose. Win or lose isn't the question. The question is, is do you stand for something? And will you fight for it? Regardless right. of what you're up against. Yeah. You know, success is easy when, you know, if, well, sorry, if, if success were easy, everyone would have it. What makes success success is the fact that you have to strive for it exactly. through all odds, you know, against all odds. So what we're, what we're saying here is that whether, whether it seems bleak, which it may very well be, you're still standing up for something. Will you step out? Will you step into that? You know, will you step off of that line with everybody else and speak out for what you're passionate about? And I hope you do, because if you vape and you don't believe that you owe something to vaping, then I don't know what you're doing here because vaping has saved your life. It has made your life better. It has made your life better for your loved ones. It's made your life better for yourself. It has saved you from something that gives you cancer that will kill you. And you're moved on. And, Be uh, a warrior for vaping. Absolutely. And on that note, should we touch on this beautiful little thing right yes. here? With the, yeah, let's lighten it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. So let me just say I finally got mine after, you know, some difficulties with shipping and whatnot. But I've had it for about a solid week now. I've been really enjoying it, man. Honestly, you guys knocked it out of the park with this one, man. I'm loving it. The so, build deck, the airflow. So, James, oh, yeah. I take it you love the warrior. Yeah, man. <laughs> I just figured out, you know, tell you guys a little bit what I like about it. And, you know, maybe we can hear a bit about uh, what got you guys into coming out with such a beautiful product. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, guys. Well, you're the one who built it, man. But I, I'll, I'll say real quick, I, I, after you can see me again, where the where the heck am I? Yeah, where are you? That was the warrior, by the way. Um, you know, whenever you see, uh, whenever you see an Addy, you know, made by builders right it's not made by builders for builders it's made by builders for everyone and when a builder makes something you know that they're going to be thinking about things not just how complex it has to be right but being able to make a like put a big beautiful coil in there and also get great flavor and every like we we're talking about the profile how every like square millimeter was purposeful that's how i feel about the warrior you know, the bell curve, the bell, the, the, how curved it is on the inside, as well as the aesthetically on the outside, the, how much air configuration there is on top of the fact that no matter how, how you configure it, it is smooth as a porn star's ass, you know, and like the, the clamp system, but improving on the clamp system, you know, all that stuff. Go ahead. Well, yeah. Honestly, so the clamp system is like genius is at, at uh, literally, no matter what, every time I pushed my li my legs through, those things just popped right up every single time. Didn't have to like flip it upside down to you know get the things to fall down. Just every single time with that little bevel, you guys added on both sides it was genius. We put a lot of work into this, so you guys know who JMT are, don't you? Absolutely. I know so, we do. Hopefully, you guys yeah. do out there in the chat. James, Michael, and T Bone. That's right. So we have Johnny Drips. We have the Fishman 13, who is Mike. And we have Builder Guard Travis, who I am, obviously. And um, we wanted to design a 25 millimeter RDA so it would fit on all of the darn mechs out on the market now because they're all 25 millimeter. I mean, look at that beautiful purge that you have. And, uh, you know, the goal was to make posts that are easy to build on. Um, they build like the goon, I'm not gonna lie. It's super easy to, uh, it's <laughs> I think it's better. The clamps are amazing. Dude, with the bevel on the bottoms, it's definitely better. That was yep. one, of the, one of the biggest issues I had with the, uh, with the goon was that it's, it's a pain in the ass because you catch that edge with a flat, flat coil you know round coil whatever you want to put in there and it's just like you're you're basically you're, you're pushing a, you're like you're pushing against a wall 
Yep. So like having that bevel there, you just slide it up and under, especially when you're trying to get that second coil in, it makes the build experience so Absolutely. much easier. Oh, you yeah. can you can stack your leads. You can put them right next to each other. Even when you put them right next to each other, your coils don't sit too far off of centered. If that makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. I still get so, hands on one. <laughs> I like the I like the airflow because even like when I had goons and I overdripped, it would pour out those three holes. Oh yeah, all these little holes on here, you still get the smooth airflow, but it never breaks the tension of spilling out of those holes. Yeah. You know, I might be biased on this, but I honestly believe that this is the smoothest 25 millimeter RDA airflow on the market. Absolutely. I mean, I might With be biased. all that space but... in there and the fact that it's not turbulent, it's smooth, no matter how small or big the coil is. And the flavor for a 25? <laughs> the flavor's on point. The yeah. flavor is on yeah. point. That's why I went so, through with Turkish Mace so fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... You know, I, I used to build some really big coils, you know, when I first started out. And that's kind of what drove me to the idea of making some clamps. Well, Johnny and I really talked through the clamps to make them as wide as possible without screws getting in the way. So, like on the Goon, the screws actually decrease the width of the inside of the areas that you can put post in. Yeah. And this, there isn't anything really except for the sides of the clamps. So you can build huge on this. Yeah, absolutely. And I haven't had any problem, you know, either stacking or like you said, laying my coil side by side and having even contact because you have two screws on either side that literally push down evenly on both of those, you know, the clamp inside and the bottom of the deck. It's like, right. it's foolproof. It's an RDA you can do anything you want with. It's like, we don't think about this because there's, uh, you know, five new Addies that come out a week. Um, but, you know, there, there are certain staples you have in your collection as a hobbyist or just as a vapor if you're looking to get into RDAs and stuff like that. Ease of use, you know, um, uh, versatility, flavor, um, and size, right? Because most things are big nowadays and you want it to look good on, on those things. Um, you know, that's what you get out of the Warrior RDA is you get versatility. You can build, you can do a round wire build if like you have your own Canthal wire or Nichrome and you just want to build a simple round wire build, which is what we only had, what, three and a half, four years yeah, ago? Yeah, um, pretty much. You know, so, but, or you can, you can buy really, really fancy coils or you can build really fancy coils. Whatever you want to put in there, you're going to get great flavor. You're going to be able to tweak that and play with it. You can grow into the Addy. You can grow further with the Addy. It's it's literally like for what, 30 bucks? <laughs> yeah, 30 30 dollars you get an Addy in your in your collection that you can do whatever you want with. You don't you it's not like some fat use. series builds in there. It's not specific use. It, it, you know, it has it has building in mind. Um, oh, but yeah. at the same time it doesn't it doesn't ostracize any single vapor to say, "All right, well, if you don't like goon food, these giant ass coils that just suck up friggin' juice and, and, and have so much surface area, you can't use it. No, you could put literally like a, the tiniest build in there ever and still get great flavor out of it. Well, I appreciate too. that. We tried to do that. That Michelle was important. Michelle is a round wire girl and yep. she loves the warrior. So you go not only to something fancy, it works for everything. And not only that, but you also send that, uh, that block to close off one side of the deck if you want to run a single coil like a big bad you know frame something or another you know you could throw one of those in there and still get that smooth airflow from the one side because it's got the other side of the chamber you know cut off and it's still going to be a great bait you know james i still haven't done that yet you need to <laughs> see i've done it and you haven't <laughs> nope i haven't because i'm a dual coil guy I love my dual coils. Absolutely. Uh, I, I will know. say I didn't I didn't rock it for more than like a day, but you tried it. it. Cuz you're a reviewer, Frames Jack yeah, Vapor. Speaking of YouTube. that, um I just want to touch before we have uh no more time. Oh, we have uh, to do the juice of the week after this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh keep an eye out guys. I'm going to be dropping a new review hopefully either tonight or tomorrow depending on how long it takes me to edit uh, cuz it takes me forever cuz I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll figure it out. Uh, so keep an eye out for that, guys. And uh, I just want to thank you guys all for the the subs, man. I absolutely can't express enough how much it means to me, guys. It's absolutely blowing my mind and how much love and support I've been getting from all the Omis and the Stooge yeah. crew and everybody. It's awesome, man. 
But uh, yeah, let's do that juice of the week, man. Appreciate it. Go check them out. Uh, juice of the week. Juice of the week. All right, since nobody else is going. Uh, I like to do a uh, country clouds cornbread pudding. Salt mix. Oh. Really, it's really tasty. I'm enjoying the hell out of it in my store in there. <laughs> it's like the baby brother of this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all tiny. It's a 30 mil bottle. I like these new uh, chubby little tiny guys that they have for the 30 mils. Oh, are they the 50 mil or uh, this one's or a 30. 75? That's a 35. I can't. I can't do that past 35, man. That's way too strong. Oh, yeah. I have uh, my juice of the week here. It's that uh, Grindhouse Americano. It is a yes. delicious coffee vape. Um, I'm loving it in a uh, you know, nice warm build in the morning with a cup of coffee, of course. It is delicious. If you guys haven't tried it yet, check it out. That's my juice for this week. You passed it to. I'm going to pass it to Dan. Ooh, wasn't ready. Um, I know you weren't. That's why I passed it to you. <laughs> I can't pick do it. either one, but it's I got the Plague and I got the Toxic, Toxic Shack. They're both really, really good. I'm enjoying them thoroughly. Thank you. What are those flavors? Uh, uh, Plague Swarm is like a orange cream soda. Yeah. And then Toxic Shack is like a key lime, key lime pie. Key lime pie. Both very good. Throw to your side. If you like throaty juices, definitely it's recommend. It's a higher grade nicotine, man. It's like if you're not used to it, it's like when you drink a really nice scotch and you're like, oh, this is really harsh. Well, it's because you're not used to drinking yeah, Dude, go back to I'm back on the not, Plague form. That's where like the soda comes into it. Like it, it, it's like that carbonation kind of effect in your throat kind of thing that I like. So yeah, shout out got, to John yeah. for making some good juices. I got a toxic shock on my one of my rebels at a point one five on a Mac, and like with that lower power kind of thing, it smoothens it out quite a bit. That harsh throat hit. I gotta try that. Cause key lime pie. I mean, all these flavors are really good. You just gotta tweak. You got a tweak for the throat yep. Hit yep. of that higher nicotine, but all the flavors are on point. Yeah. Um, so, but know that, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that are like, all right, well, I want a three milligram, but I like, I want to lower my nicotine, but I, I like the throatiness. And so I can't, so you can lower your nicotine. You can get a three milligram with a little bit of a throatier nature to it, but you get used to that throatiness of it. It's like when you try out a new juice or a different juice, with a TFN tobacco free nicotine or whatever, a different type of nicotine. And then it's like it tastes different or it hits your throat differently. Um, you know, you get used to it after a while. And just knowing that it's three milligram makes it better. All right, Dan, pass it off. I'll pass it to Travis once again. All right. Well, I'm going to stick with my transposed green line. I love this stuff. I mean, I can't say enough of it. Like I said before, it's creamy coconut honeydew bubble tea. I mean, it's a mouthful. What's the one uh, for that place? What's what? Is there a website for this place where we can get this juice? Just look up Transpose online. They're uh, in many different stores. And after we get off, I'll um, I'll let you know um, how to get it. Awesome. So, um, and Grandma's sweet banana pudding. Ooh. So right there, you and uh, my local vape shop does have a website. It's vaporgenius.biz, and you can find it there. All right. Awesome. Pass it off, Trav. All right, so, Mister, what? I haven't gone. <laughs> well, that's funny because I was going to say Mister <laughs> Swaggins. All right, that's me. I'm I'm Swaggins, Swaggins Vapor. Um, all right, my juice of the week is Turkish Maize. Yeah. Um, but last week I wanted to say this juice, but I only had it for like a day and a half. And I didn't feel right about saying it. But now that I've had it for more than that time, I know for a fact that I'm absolutely in love with it. I put it in several setups and it's all over my fingers. Sorry. No. It's so good. Um, also available on cloudsofmassdestruction.com is the full line of MTurk juice. Um, not, unfortunately, you cannot get the 20% uh, off. That's for his juice line, which is good enough. But you can get uh, you can get the MTurk juice there for cheaper than on MTurk.net. Sorry, MTurk, if you ever someday for some fluke of a reason watch this video, uh, your prices are really high. 
Uh, <laughs> Clouds of Mass Destruction has it for cheaper, more reasonable of a price. Still pretty expensive, but it is a delicious juice. I love that Turkish maize, and I'm going to pass it off to Prune Sauce McNasty. Okay, well, I guess you guys already know that I stand by Transistor, so all their juice. I just want to let everybody know this weekend at Midwest Vapor Expo, Transistor came and was a co-sponsor of this event, and they came out at the end of this and won another award. It's not my favorite juice of the week, but I just wanted to brag about it because it's so freaking amazing. You guys haven't tried it yet. Galactic Milk, you have to try it. It's a one of a kind. You guys won't freaking regret it. And now my juice of the week is also going to be my transistor, which I don't know if I've done this one yet, but my all day, every day, I can just live on this stuff. LSD. It's a lemon sugar drop. It's freaking phenomenal. I can't get enough of it. It's just amazing. Nice. Absolutely. All the juices, nice. man. Transistor just like, it just knocks out of the park. Every time I try a new juice, thanks to Poon Sauce McNasty, I'm addicted in a great way to pretty much every uh, transistor juice I've ever tried. So thanks a lot for that. Same, same no here. Problem. No same problem. It's, it's cool to be a part of such a family like how they are. It's just, mm -hmm. They're amazing people, and I wouldn't rather be with anybody else than that team. Um, yeah, I'll pass it over to Mr. Uh, Aziz? Aziz, yeah. I don't know if anybody else wants to try to figure Hi, Aziz. Thank you. This is the last one. Uh, I'll have to go with the caramel waffle cappuccino from the yeah, LA sauce. Dude, I need to no, try that. That thing, you that thing you, you talk awesome. about that stuff. Mm. And, it sounds uh, delicious. And it sounds so good. Dude, it's, it oh, lives oh. in this RTA. Dude, that this looks RTA like some is, coffee in the morning. Oh, oh yeah. it's phenomenal. So delicious. that's that's my juice of the week. Good choice. Good choice. Is that everybody? He's light. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey can i shout out one more thing sure. absolutely man yeah, sure. so uh, by the end of the week i will be having up on um builder guard posts in instagram a giveaway for a warrior Ooh, and a trinity cap and a trinity cap yay, yay. so we're going to be giving away five of them and um, all right yep Trinity was nice enough to send me a bunch of caps, and um, and I want to put together this giveaway so other people can try the Warrior. And with the cap, it's just like a perfect pairing. So um, there you go. Look for it at uh, Builder Guard, and it's going to be reposted by JMT, and Watofu is going to repost it along with Trinity. And along with the Omis. And I'll yep. be reposting it because that's what I do. Along with Vapor Swag is Vapor underscore Swag is on Instagram. I want, to give, <laughs> I, I want to give these guys a huge shout out because I talked to them over at uh, Midwest. They were they had coils for sale. They were name your price and every single coil, every all the money that you spent for a coil was going to advocacy. I want to give a big shout out to Oak Table Builds. They cut some nice little package you got there with some coils and some cotton sticks which is freaking awesome so it was pretty much pay as much as you want you get a set of coils and every single dollar they got went to advocacy and that's that was awesome. amazing some that's awesome. guys that just sat at a table talking to people all day and they were amazing group people i want to give them a huge don't shout be out. a dick durbin no to s339 <laughs> so yeah they're working on a website right now but if you can if you could see yeah instagram oak table builds two is their instagram give them a follow they're great guys Resistance. Right. Resistance. Let's go. Beeping with the Omis. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see sure. <laughs> All right. Should, we, uh, should we wrap the, it up? Uh, Grim, oh, dude. Yeah, hell yeah. I like that. Uh, can, can I add something? Uh, just no. To finish yeah, off? absolutely. Yeah, I love you. Uh, uh, this has nothing to do you had me at with, hello. with vaping. Yeah, thank you, buddy. This has not, nothing to do with, with vaping. I just want to thank uh, Mr. Travis for uh, being uh, in, in, in the U.S. Uh, Marines, right? Yes. It's the Marines. Yes, it is. Yeah, and, and participating in Desert, Desert Storm because if it, if it weren't for you guys and the NATO uh, armies, I wouldn't be here played a, a major role in liberating Kuwait from an oppressive, oppressive uh, dictator. Yes. So thank you for, for your contribution, good sir. 
thank you, Aziz. I appreciate that. And thank you for everything you do on the homies and for advocating also, because I know you feel it over there. So, and all you guys um, on the homies, I want to thank you guys tonight for inviting me. I um, very much enjoyed our conversation and let's all be vaping warriors. Absolutely, man. It was a warriors. pleasure to have you on, Travis. Absolutely. Absolutely. Always awesome. I quit smoking Travis. my vaping.com. Please, Frank, throw that back up again for us. Thank you, sir. Um, Aziz, awesome, man. It's really great to see, you know, the, the, uh, you don't get to see that Trav, like you don't get to see the fruits of your labor, right? Like what you worked for, you know, you get to see the recourse for that. And it's, and it's, 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 it just happens to be within vaping right. and, and, uh, Queenie vapor dot Aziz is a major force within this industry. You may not have heard of him. If you have, you're on the right track because he's a great dude. He uh, has awesome stuff and he has a really <laughs> unique perspective on vaping and, um, and he's got a, a sound eye and, and, a, and a great critique towards vaping, uh, vaping products. So thank you for being on this panel, Aziz. And yeah, no problem. Such a big heart um, to you. It's big my time. honor to be amongst you guys here. Absolutely. And hey, we're you guys. Yeah, we're 11 minutes over and, uh, and that's great. Because yeah. uh, because we're gonna have Trav on again because we love Travis, we love Built Guard, uh, we love the Warrior, and we love everything you're about, my dude. Um, hey, clown, why don't you uh, why don't you uh, sing us out? All right. Uh, well, continuing on the on what Swaggins and Aziz were saying, and bring it back to something James said. This is a community. This is a family, and we need to fight to keep our family together. Because I mean, we have people that. One way or another, we have influenced each other's lives without even knowing it, and then we come back to this, and we are one, and we need to keep that fight going. Follow any advocacy groups you guys know of. Follow, uh, what is that again? Uh, I always mess it up, too. I Quit Smoking by Vaping. I forget it every time. A, there's a Facebook I, yep. as well, by the way. And yeah. there's also an Instagram, too, that's uh, starting Instagram, to get Facebook, active. Website. There are so many avenues to... Find these guys and have them help you in whichever manner you want to help with advocacy. All right. So uh, follow everybody on Instagram. Frank, do your thing down there. And uh, I'd like to thank you guys for being here another week. And we'll catch you guys next week. As yep. always, thanks on the fun. What? Thanks, everybody, on chat. Yeah, cheers to you guys. Without you guys, we would just be talking to ourselves, which honestly. Gotcha. We do every day. Okay.